Welcome to Curls by Charlene. Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 tips and tricks on how to embrace your curls and become a natural curly haired girl. Tip number one is deep condition your hair at least once a week or even twice a week if you have time. Um, especially if you're transitioning, I would suggest you deep condition your hair twice a week. Um, this week I actually used the Cantu, the deep treatment mask. So you can deep condition your hair with a deep conditioner or a mask. And this is for natural hair. It restores and strengthens dry damaged hair. This is actually day four of my deep conditioned hair and I only deep condition once now. That's once a week. <laughs> Tip number two is don't use heat on your hair anymore. No, no to the hair straighteners and the GHDs and the curling irons and the relaxers. They are a big no, no. Your hair does not need heat. It doesn't need to be relaxed. That takes away your curls and you lose your natural curl pattern. So stay away from heat and all sorts of things like that. Tip number three is don't sleep on your standard pillowcases anymore. Sleep on a satin or silk pillowcase um, because standard pillowcases create frizz and obviously you don't see the definition in your curls so well. This is actually day four. I've been sleeping on a satin or silk pillowcase and my curls are still pretty much defined. I don't even have to worry. Tip number four, don't use your standard towels to dry your hair anymore because every time you use those towels, it's creating frizz in your hair. Um, use a standard cotton t-shirt, that's what I use. Um, you could use a microfiber towel, you can find those on Amazon and eBay as well. Um, I did buy a microfiber towel, but... I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I just use a standard t-shirt and it works perfectly fine. And it saves you money. Tip number five, don't brush your hair when it's dry, only when it's wet or it's soaking wet, brush your hair or detangle your hair. Please don't try and detangle your curls when they are dry like this. This just ruins your curl pattern. It's painful, it's not worth it. Even the mothers with little kids, please don't do that to your kids. They'll thank you for wetting the hair first and then you detangle. Um, I would also suggest you detangle from the bottom up. Tip number six, find out what hair type you have because when you know what hair type you have, then you'll know which products will best suit your hair. I am a type 3C to 4A, um, so I know I need a bit more heavier products. Um, when you have loose curls, you want lighter products. When you want you have tighter curls, you want heavier products. Um, it makes a difference because your definition of curls will show in the products you use and also the techniques. So it's important to know what hair type you have. Um, I will do another video on that. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Tip number seven, don't wash your hair every day. You don't need to do that. Your hair has natural oils that it wants to produce. And if you're washing your hair every day, you are stripping your hair of these lovely oils that your hair will naturally produce. Um, basically, all you need to do is refresh your hair every day or every second day. Um, I styled my hair on day two um, and I haven't refreshed it, maybe one or two curls, but I haven't refreshed it and this is day four. So your hair does not need to be washed every day. Tip number eight, apply styling products to wet or damp hair. Um, some products, some styling products do say they have water in them. It will say aqua, so sometimes if you're just refreshing, you can use a little bit of that. Um, but really, if your styling products aren't working, maybe it's because you're not putting them on the right way 
or when your hair is damp. Your hair will naturally want to curl when it's damp anyway. That's your natural curl pattern. And when you put the styling product on it, it will set in whichever position you've styled it in. Tip number nine is stay away from silicones and sulfates, especially in your shampoos, conditioner, leave-in, deep conditioners, styling products. Some of the products um, are actually kind to us curly girls. They put it clearly, um, Maui Moisture puts it clearly on the side of their bottle, no sulfates, no silicones, um, no mineral oils there's a whole list that you can see on there you do need to read your products um, i will create another video on why silicones and sulfates are so bad for us curly girls so stay tuned for that that video um, also the deep conditioner i used clearly says no minerals no sulfates that's what we need to stay away from so these are good to work with our curls will thank us and you ask, well, why, why do we really need to stay away from these things? I'll give you a, sh a brief um, description. When I first started my curly hair journey, I was buying all sorts of products. I wasn't reading the, the labels really. Well, I was, but I didn't really know what was silicones and what was sulfates. And my hair was still frizzy. My curls weren't being defined. I was wondering, I'm doing all these things. I'm buying all the natural, natural products. Why isn't my hair looking so good like all the other girls why isn't it curling and basically it's it was down to the products i was using so stay away from those okay and tip number 10 is cut off the dead ends um, if you have dead edges or damaged edges cut them off your hair will thank you for it and your hair will start growing um, sometimes you see all these damaged heat damaged um, ends it just doesn't look good cut them off um, especially if you have heat damage you'll see that it will get it will look straighter or it won't have much of a curl cut them off it's okay some people do the big chop um, not everyone has to shave their head or do a big chop you can cut cut off the edges and cut and cut and cut as your hair grows and you'll see the difference your hair will thank you cut off those dead edges because your hair wants to spring out it can't because basically the edges are dead and those are my 10 tips and tricks on how to start your curly hair journey um, if you have any questions please put them down below tell me what your 10 tips and tricks are um, i have so many other tips and tricks but i thought i'd give you my top 10 and we can go from there if you'd like me to do a part two let me know Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please turn on the notification bell. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.